Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a comment about our Truth Skin Health products or questions about ingredients or formulations and skincare products, we can help you there as well. I've been in the skincare business now for 32 years, formulating products as a compounding pharmacy, and I dare say I know a thing or two about how a skincare product is put together and how the skin works as well. So if you're dealing with eczema, acne, rosacea, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866 866- 735-2470-866-735-2470. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Um, Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470 and sign up on the phone for a one-time $25 fee. You can have yourself a business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and I can help you build your business as well. I'm going to be in Boise, Idaho this weekend, helping my friend Cheryl Morley and uh, Pete Cropo. We'll be doing a talk on the longevity products and the longevity business as well, and I can come to your town too. If you sign up for a one-time $25 fee, call 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop. And, of course, if you want to uh, take a look at our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look, especially long look, at our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol, vitamin C. Great if you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, and it works perfectly with our Omega-6 Healing Cream. In fact, sometime here in the next couple of weeks or maybe maybe month or so, we'll have... Uh, We'll be uh, pairing the systems up, and we'll get you a little discount when you buy a pair of the Omega-6 Healing Cream and our Retinol 5% Gel. Also have an acne supplement coming out here in probably the next four weeks or so. Okay, thanks for joining us on the Bright Side. Once again, we've been talking about DHEA. Love the stuff and all the wonderful benefits associated with DHEA. Not that you can just take DHEA and expect that your health challenges are going to disappear. It's not as simple as just taking a DHEA pill. It doesn't work like that. That's not how health works. You don't just take a pill and get better. DHEA supports supports health. It supports brain health. It supports sexual health. It supports weight loss. It supports longevity. It supports vitality. And it certainly can make a difference. But that's not to say that you just take DHEA and all of a sudden you're better. That's not how health works. Our health challenges are byproducts. They're secondary. You can't just take one pill and expect to get better. It's a system. 
this is one of the neat things about the longevity products is it's a system. When you get involved with longevity and you use longevity products, you're using a system. Health is a system. The body is a system. A system is made up of a bunch of parts, and all the parts have to be working together. When we have a health challenge, we think, oh, my God, I got a heart problem. I got a brain problem. I got a bone problem. I got a muscle problem. No, you have a system problem. It's just showing up, obviously, in the brain or the heart or the bones, but the entire system is affected. Our health challenges are byproducts. They're secondary. They're secondary to nutritional deficiency. They're secondary to digestive issues and blood sugar issues. They're secondary to adrenal stress. And of course, they're secondary to psychological, mental, and emotional strategies or emotional issues. And this is good news because it really simplifies healing and health and wellness. It means that with the exception of the digestive system, with the exception of the blood sugar system, with these two exceptions, the digestive system and the blood sugar system, you're not going to be able to address specific health issues by focusing strictly on specific parts, but you can address specific health issues by addressing the system. There isn't any chronic long-term degenerative health issue that will not improve when you start to focus on digestive health, likewise on blood sugar, on the health of the blood sugar system. When you start to work with the digestive system and the blood sugar system, everything will fall into place. Everything. You throw in the adrenal glands, and this is the triangle of disease that I always talk about. When you start to approach this triangle of disease, everything will resolve. You don't have to have a special protocol for multiple sclerosis. You don't need a special protocol for osteoporosis. You don't need a special protocol for autoimmune disease. You don't need a special protocol for heart disease and cancer. It's all generic. These are secondary. If you have a skin condition, for example, you're not going to be able to resolve it simply by focusing on the skin. You may be able to get temporary relief with your proactive or your, your retinol or benzoyl peroxide or steroid cream. You may be able to get uh, a temporary relief, but you're not going to resolve it. If you're dealing with dementia, you're not going to resolve the problem by focusing just on the brain. If you have a muscle or bone condition, you can't effectively address these conditions by focusing on the bone and the muscle alone. Trying to target specific organs and specific parts of the body not only doesn't work very well, it's why medical, the representatives of the medical model will tell you they can't cure degenerative disease because they're focusing on the organ or the specific structure that's affected. At that level, you can't cure it. Or they'll tell you, oh, we, we don't know what causes psoriasis. It's a mystery. It's unknown. Well, that's because they're focusing on the skin. If you go underneath, if you go behind, if you don't focus on the specific system, you focus on the body as a whole, you will find that behind these health challenges, whether it's psoriasis or whether it's cancer, you find the same things. You find the same breakdowns. This is so important because it's our key to liberation. Not only liberation from the medical model, but liberation from health misery. When we see that there's this triangle, this triad, this root that's underneath all of the seemingly disparate and various forms of uh, ways that the body breaks down, it frees us. Then we can handle things ourselves and really get results and really affect change and even really cure. Yes, cure. And by the way, alternative practitioners sometimes make the same mistake by focusing on specific organs and specific structures, and this accounts for their failures as well. No one just has one health challenge, although we may have one obvious health challenge percolating along behind the scenes of all chronic degenerative diseases is a basic deterioration of the body. And once we address the general deterioration of the body, the specific symptoms will resolve on their own. Heart disease, the leading killer in this country and around the world. Hundreds of thousands of people die every year from heart disease. 600,000 people, I think. So almost 700,000 people die from heart disease. And you know what? It hasn't, the numbers haven't really gone down very much. Even though we, know, uh, we now know so much more about heart disease, we're still, it's still the leading cause of death. And it still affects millions of people. It's a classic example of a secondary or byproduct disease. It's a classic example of the byproduct nature of illness and disease. And this is why the medical model is stuck with ridiculous, I mean ridiculous, strategies like lowering cholesterol. This is the most retarded 
idiotic protocol in, in, in all of medicine or among them. All right. We'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you. Try to call in early so we can get as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or or, uh, nutritional supplements or you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also... Check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oils, silicon, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You should only have to pay for active and functional ingredients, and that's what you're getting when you use the truth, and that's why the products will last you three or four months or even more. In the case of our Retinol 5% Gel, it'll last you six or seven months when used as directed. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. If you're on a statin drug, why are you taking it? Why? What is the logic here to this idea that if you lower your cholesterol artificially and synthetically, somehow you're going to be better for it? It's craziness. Do you know one quarter of all Americans are over the age of 40? American adults are taking a statin drug. How the heck does this happen that 25% of a population is on a prescription drug? And do you think a drug company or a drug company representative is going to tell you any different? Heart disease, the leading cause of death in this country and around the world, is a secondary issue, byproduct issue. It is not a cholesterol issue. It is not a cholesterol issue. This is a meme. It's a belief system. It's a mind virus. It is an entrancement. It is hypnosis. It makes no sense to anybody who understands chemistry or biochemistry. And there is no bad cholesterol. That is idiotic with a capital I. There is no such thing as bad cholesterol. And I'm telling you this as a chemist, as a biochemist, cholesterol is just one molecule and it's good. Can you make too much of it? Well, yeah, because you trick your body into thinking it's supposed to be building. Cholesterol is a building substance, a major repair and building substance. It's a major health-inducing and health-promoting substance. And so when we eat a bunch of sugar, our body thinks it's supposed to be building. It's going to crank out the cholesterol. You want to lower your cholesterol naturally? Drop your blood sugar. It's as simple as that, friends. It's not the cholesterol that's a problem. It's like if you got a bunch of garbage sitting around and you have a bunch of flies, killing the flies isn't going to clean your apartment. You got to get rid of the garbage. Cholesterol's the flies. The sugar is the garbage. Killing the flies doesn't get rid of the garbage. The heart problem, the nutritional strat, the nutritional deficiencies that are behind the nutritional deficiencies and the elevated blood sugar and the bad living that's behind heart disease, that's the problem. That's behind elevated cholesterol. That's the problem. But no one thinks to address these things. This is why the medical model is stuck with lowering cholesterol as their main strategy. No one thinks to address bile secretion and heart disease. No one thinks to address intestinal absorption of nutrients in heart disease. No one thinks to, absor- to uh, approach blood stagnation, lymph stagnation and heart disease, messed up blood sugar as a cause of heart disease. So we're left with these impotent, idiotic protocols that focus on what seems to be the problem, the cholesterol. Cholesterol levels go up when our digestive system is not working as it should. Cholesterol levels go up when our body's being overwhelmed by sugar. Cholesterol levels go up when we're under burden and stress. The diseased heart is a symptom of the blood sugar and digestive and adrenal issues. It's not the problem itself. And you can take all the statins you want, but if you haven't corrected the problems, the underneath the digestive problems, the dysglycemia, that is messed up blood sugar, you're still at risk. On the other hand, if you correct the digestive issues, if you change the way you eat, 
if you use your probiotics and your ultimate enzymes and you make sure you're processing fats and you're using apple cider vinegar and you're stabilizing your blood sugar with the sweeties and by limiting your intake and by using selenium and, and niacin guess what not only will you improve heart health but you'll improve every health, all health, everything. You'll live longer. You'll live better. You'll reduce your really, truly reduce your risks of disease without a doctor, without medical intervention. No one just has heart disease. It doesn't just drop in out of the sky. It's not like there's a little heart disease fairy that sprinkles heart disease dust on the top of your head. It percolates and builds and, and, and is the end result of decades of breakdown in the body. And the medical model is useless, useless, impotent. It cannot do anything about it except poison the heart. Yes, poison it with a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. It can electrically cauterize the heart. They can do that. Yes, shoot electricity in it to cauterize it. That's another word for saying burn it. How the heck can anybody think that burning the heart with electricity is ever a good idea, but yet that is a, a, a standard medical protocol for people who are dealing with arrhythmias? Or they'll stick some device in it, or they'll surgically modify it, or even replace it. Heart disease, like all other secondary health challenges, follows long-term digestive stress, long-term digestive breakdown, particularly at the level of the gallbladder and the liver, as well as long-term dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and hypoxia, low blood oxygen, and adrenal distress, and hypothyroidism. There's a major link, by the way, between emotional and mental health, uh, how we think and how we feel, and the heart and heart health. And not understanding these primary causes of the secondary manifestation that takes place at the level of the cardiovascular system means that 30 million Americans, one out of every 11 people, and the numbers for African Americans is even scarier, half of all black men and women are victims of cardiovascular disease. 30 million Americans, half of all African Americans, and they're, most of them are left to twist in the wind with nothing but barbaric medieval strategies such as ablation, that is burning the heart, or chemical ablation, that is poisoning the heart, or sticking balloons and stents and pacemakers or surgically manipulating it. And cancer, the second leading cause of death in this country, same way. A couple days ago, we talked to a gentleman who was dealing with basal cell cancer. Later on that day, this was a Tuesday, I believe, I talked to a guy on the phone. He had seven basal cell cancers removed, and they kept coming back. This is a classic case of dealing with the leaves while you leave the roots intact. And the only person who benefits is the guy getting paid to remove the basal cell carcinomas. The reason for the appearance of any cancer, let alone one that returns seven times, can be summed up in one word, byproduct. Basal cell carcinoma, basal cell cancer is not life-threatening, obviously, as far as health challenges go. There's a lot worse. But what this really is, is a demonstration that something is missing. Something is wrong. Something is not getting into the body that should be, or something that is getting into the body that shouldn't be, or a combination thereof. Everything that we're looking for in terms of our health is a function of simple, basic ideas. Simplicity. This is so important, you guys. Simplicity. We have been bamboozled into thinking you need a medical degree. You need to go to college for six, six or seven years. You need internships. You need to be an expert. You need to be authority. I am here to tell you health is simple. And how we address our health challenges can be equally simple. And it doesn't require a medical intervention, for the most part, unless you got some trauma, of course. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in a sec. We've got lines open for you. From the journal Lancet Neurology, cerebrovascular disease linked to Alzheimer's, circulatory system disease, dirty blood. Where have you heard that before? According to authors of the study or of the article, diseased blood vessels in the brain itself may contribute more significantly to Alzheimer's dementia than was previously believed. Oh, yes, but they want to give you a vaccine for Alzheimer's disease. They want to blame plaques and tau proteins for Alzheimer's disease. 
Dirty blood is a common denominator to all chronic degenerative diseases. Blood becomes dirty from food, blood becomes dirty from sugar, blood becomes dirty from toxicity, and then blood stagnation results in low oxygen, low oxygenation or poor oxygenation, and thusly all health challenges ensue. It turns out that the plaques, those amyloid plaques that are secreted in the brain actually are natural antibiotics. Yes, a study published in Science Translational Medicine has found, quote, additional evidence that amyloid, additional evidence, they already knew this, but this is additional evidence, that amyloid beta protein, that's the stuff that's deposited in the, in the brain of Alzheimer's victims, this is the stuff you read about, the plaques that they want to vaccinate you against, that they're trying to come up with drugs to prevent. Well, guess what? They're a normal part of the body's immune system. Yes, they're the body's first line of defense against inf infection. This is a common, uh, common strategy. The body will secrete these fibers when it needs to protect itself. Whenever you have fibrosis of any kind, and, and um, uh, Alzheimer's disease is a fibrotic condition, it's a fibrosis condition caused by these, the, the direct cause is these plaques, but the plaques themselves are a defensive response to toxicity to a lack of nutrition, to the same things, folks. They call Alzheimer's disease type three diabetes because there's a, a link between, uh, between sugar, between dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and Alzheimer's disease as well. From the British Medical Journal, no association between bad cholesterol and elderly deaths. How do you like that? High levels of a certain type of cholesterol called LDL cholesterol, specific type of LDL, People who have high levels of this, of this LDL live as long, this is a quote, live as long and often longer than their peers with low levels of the same cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, unquote. So I'm telling you, there's no bad cholesterol. There's nothing bad here. Even the fibers in Alzheimer's disease are not bad. They're part of the immune system. The job of a true healthcare professional is not to shut down the production of these things, but to figure out why they're elevated, why they're going crazy, why the, why the cells are secreting so much of this stuff. That's what a real healthcare, healthcare professional, somebody who really cares about health, will do. Of course, we don't need healthcare professionals because we can do it all ourselves. This is the take-home message that we talk about here every day. We can do this ourselves. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Mary in Oregon. Welcome to the Bright Side, Mary. What's up? Hi. Uh, real quickly, that guy that called last week and said he was hungry when he drank the BTT. Um, yeah. I uh, have been on a Mighty 90 for years, and, and, of course, once I got on it, I was no longer hungry. But there was an interesting thing. When I drank the BTT, I would think I was hungry. And... Hmm. For instance, yesterday I goofed. I came inside after working out, and I drank. I took a big swig, you know, accidentally. And about a, uh, two minutes later, I'm saying to myself, "Ah, oh, I'm so hungry." And I said, "No, you're not." Interesting. What I found to do is, when I sip the BTT, I follow it by um, something that's not sweet, and I'm just fine. Like, what do you do? Well, you taught me to put uh, BTT in my green tea, and that's what I... Uh, okay. I'm sipping on that right now, actually. Uh-huh. BTT yeah, and so green cool. tea. I love that combination. That's, that's awesome. So do you find that that satisfies you, that you're, you're full? Yes. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, the green I'm tea. To, I'm back to what I used to be when I was doing the um, Ultimate Classic liquid. That, you know, that was all we had then for the Mighty 90. Well, very nice, Mary. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Anything else going on? Yeah. Um, I would. Um, I, I was very sad that I had to give the Amasai up for what used to be my old hay fever season. Yeah. And you told me that if I uh, increased my enzymes and increased my uh, probiotics, I shouldn't have to do that. Well, um, I couldn't afford to do that, but I would like to do an experiment. Yeah. I now have uh, three bottles of enzymes on hand and three bottles of nightly essence on hand, and I'd like to start back on the Almasai 10 days earlier than I did last year. So um, for me, weighing 120 pounds, what 
of each of those would you suggest I take? Which are the enzymes and the probiotics? Yes. You're on the nightly essence? Yes. Uh, take two or three of the enzymes with your, with your meals and with your amasai. And you can't overdose on either of these, by the way. It's just a question of finding a, of the sweet spot for you. I would start off with two or three of the enzymes and then nine of the uh, ultimate EFAs a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. But both of these supplements, you want to practice functional dosing. And functional dosing is where you take just enough, where you take the perfect amount, not too much, not too little. And the only way to know is by taking, say, three of them and seeing how you feel, and then taking four of them and seeing how you feel, and then taking five of them and seeing how you feel, and noticing where you don't get an improvement. So you take three, and you say, okay, I feel okay. And then you take four, you say, wow, I feel much better. And then you take five, and you say, whoa, I feel awesome. And then you take six, and you go, well, I didn't notice too much of a difference. Then you'll know that five is your sweet spot. That's called functional dosing. Does that make sense how I explain that? Yes. Okay, that's good. And that's the way you want to dose the probiotics, also the glucogel caps, and the ultimate enzymes. Go by how you feel. Find, keep raising the dose until you don't notice that you get a big difference, and then uh, stay at that dose where you, get the, where, you, where you notice you feel really, really good. I usually start off with three enzymes after meals and then, uh, and then nine of the ultimate EFAs every day. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Okay? You're saying EFAs. Do you mean nightly essence? I meant nightly essence. I'm sorry. Okay, EFA is the same way, though. EFAs that work the same way. Yes, I meant nightly essence, but yes, you do the same thing with the EFAs. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I already do that. Thank you. Good deal. Thanks for calling me. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lots of lines open for you. Pam in Michigan, welcome to the Bright Side. Hello, fabulous pharmacist Ben. How oh, are, are you? Are you? <laughs> I know who you are. Are you the gal who's been emailing me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. I'm glad you called back. We left you on hold the other night, and I didn't realize that that was the gal you were talking about was uh, was the gal from Massachusetts, Philomena, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so let me. And now she's doing better. Is she? I haven't talked to her for a while. Is she doing better? Well, she was doing um, very well. Actually, she was. Um Better, yeah, she was doing better. Well, let me set she this had, up. Um, Before you, Pam, let me set this up for the listeners real quick, okay? Yes, and if this is the same lady that I'm thinking of. She's an older gal, and I talked to her several months ago, and she was just absolutely miserable. She was in tears. She was so miserable because she couldn't stand up. She was so dizzy. And uh, it was very nice, very nice gal, and I, I spent a lot of time talking to her on the phone, and I gave her some ideas, and I didn't hear back from her. And uh, I'm glad you called back because I, I would like to get an update on her because that's a mis that vertigo is just miserable, miserable. And this poor woman was was in tears. She was she was going crazy. All right, hang on, Pam. We'll get to you. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side talking to Pam in Michigan. Michigan got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or the Truth Skin Health products, by the way, you can take you can take a look at our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got a few more minutes to talk to you. Pam in Michigan. Um, Pam, you there? Yes, I am. Thank you, so, Ben. Um, how, did, how did you get a hold of this gal, by the way? Uh, she's in our downline. Oh, she's in. Our, um, she's doing longevity. Is she the one with the accent? The uh, she's got a heavy accent. Yes, yeah, she's from Portugal. Portugal. Okay, yeah. I, I didn't realize she was part of the uh, longevity team, or she was on your team. So I would. I don't think I told her about the longevity products, but I gave her the standard stuff that I always tell people: make sure she's relaxing, deep breathing, doing the bone soup, um, just general basic ideas. And I, then I didn't hear back from her. So give me an update there, Pamela. And so it's been four months she's been on the product. And, um, you know, sometimes we get a little tired of the bone soup and stuff. And, you know, so she went that way a little bit. But she did um, have a breakthrough. And um, what happened was uh, she started soaking her feet in some baking soda. Okay. And we asked her to stand behind a chair, a high back chair, and bounce. Okay. And, you know, cause you get on a bounce or anything, get that deep breathing going like you oh. suggest. Okay. And um, so she did that, and then she had a black particle of wax maybe come out of her ear. And so it kind of frightened her, and she went to the doctor. They flushed it out, gave her antibiotics and a leave. And in about, you know, two, three days after that, she said she was worse than she'd ever been. She's very, you know, anxiety and everything just kind of, you know, set in at that point. And um, so she went back to the doctor and um 
he scraped it out and um she went back to a specialist i'm sorry she went to a specialist and um he sprayed some stuff in there he said don't do the antibiotics and leave anymore and um come back in 12 days and so she said she feels better i think what had happened was maybe she had a herxheimer effect from the antibiotics and you know the deep breathing everything she was doing and so um she's doing better um, yeah. i talked to her yesterday and um she's very grateful for you and everything you've taught her and um so right now she's just um she's got this anxiety going on and um she says she feels this heaviness on the left side of her head okay well she's got a whole bunch did you hear me i don't know if you heard the program what today and in the past couple of days i've been really trying to emphasize the secondary nature of everything you know what i'm talking about how how our symptoms the the problems that we have are just secondary symptoms of underlying causes and those underlying causes are generic they're basic they're fundamental to everything and so everything you're talking about with this poor woman, the, the dizziness and the vertigo and the heaviness and the depression and the anxiety, all of these things are secondary. They're following uh, underlying health challenges and always behind, directly behind everything is going to be this, the, the, the thing I call dirty blood. So when you had her moving, when you had her jumping up and down on the rebounder, you're improving her circulation. That's first of all, and that'll, that, that'll upregulate oxygenation, help her oxygenate, but it'll also just keep everything moving. You know, depression is, as the word implies, it's a kind of stagnation. So when we have mental depression or emotional depression, we have emotional mental stagnation that oftentimes follows physical stagnation. And this is why depression is associated with multiple sclerosis, it's associated with Alzheimer's disease, it's associated with autoimmune diseases, is because when the body slows down, the brain reads this slowdown as a sign that there's something wrong. And so one of the body's responses to something wrong, or the brain's responses to something wrong is to be depressed. So simply moving the body around, simply moving the blood around, the body and then the blood and the lymph can go a long way towards making a big difference in, in pretty much all health challenges, including depression. So keep her, keep her on that rebounder. That's awesome that you have her on there. Is she frail at all? Is she, uh, I mean, I couldn't tell by talking on the phone. She sounded elderly. Well, she's in her 60s, but um, okay. the thing is she wasn't able to, you know, get on a rebounder. So we had because her stand behind a chair just to hold on to something yeah. until we can get her moving along better. But I just love that information about the depression because I don't know if you remember me. I had uh, been on antidepressants for 20 years and you guided me off of that. Nice. And I am so grateful to you. My husband's well, Dave in the Thumb and he had that um, phone down the stairs. And so... Say that again, us. Pam. Say that one more time. You had helped us also when my husband fell down the stairs. And, okay. Um, Everybody yeah, doing well. So, you got to put me on the payroll right. there. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. No, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to help. More for this gal. For, uh, continue on with this gal. Is she sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine? She does do the BTT. Yes, okay. Sir. Um, nightly essence. Um, um. How? Sweetie. What's she doing for her digest? For her, for food elimination, di digestion, and all those things. Leaky gut. Well, she's listening. If you could, um, guys. She's her listening right that. now. She's listening on the radio. Hey, Philomena. How you doing? I uh, hadn't talked to you, hadn't talked to her for a few months. I was kind of concerned there, so I'm glad you're doing better, uh, Philomena. Uh, work on the digestive system. This is the main source of toxicity into the blood. So you want to look at poor circula uh, poor blood circulation, slow down in the blood. That's always going to precede any long-term chronic degenerative health crisis. Is sluggish, dirty blood. So anything you do to move that blood around. Now you're doing great by moving your body. That definitely helps. But keeping the the entrance, slowing down the entrance of toxicity into the circulation through a leaky gut is very important. There's two main ways to do this. Number one is to not put foods in, not eat foods that cause digestive distress. That's probably the most important thing. And that's where, and Pam, can you guide Philomena through a food diary and an elimination diet, how to do all that? Uh, maybe even a Swero V cleanse for a couple of days. And then uh, secondly, using nutrients that support digestive health. Now, not all the nutrients that support digestive health are supplements, although there's some very important supplements. Probiotics are really important. Um, uh, digestive enzymes are really important. You can use something called lecithin granules that can help you. You got to get that at a health food store. Uh, bile salts, which are in the ultimate enzymes, that can help you. Apple cider vinegar after meals can help you. Stimulating digestive 
uh, secretions before you actually eat by paying attention to what you're eating, chewing your food really well. All of these can be very helpful. And then one of the all-time great and underappreciated, unless you're listening to this program, uh, underappreciated strategies for improving digestive health is to make sure you're doing vegetable juices and fermented vegetables. Fermented vegetables will get you some probiotics, but any kind of vegetables will give you a couple really interesting benefits, especially uh, if you do them in smoothies or juices, not smoothies, but juices where you grind up the veggies, not juice make, not with a juicer, but with a Vitamix, because the secret to the digestive health benefits to veggies is in the fiber. The fiber does several very important things for digestive health. Well, does, well, a few things. Number one, it'll fill you up so you're not eating as much. Number two, fiber has a cleansing effect, and this cleansing effect is especially important for the hormone estrogen. And estrogen is behind many health challenges, particularly uh, autoimmune health challenges. You know, 80% of people who have autoimmune disease are women, nearly 80%. That's because of the hormone estrogen, and not exactly estrogen, but breakdown products of estrogen, so-called metabolites of estrogen. So using fiber can help clear out excess estrogen and help stabilize estrogen levels. And then the next thing that fiber does is it, it can be acted on, acted upon by bacteria in the gut. And those bacteria, when they digest or when they chew these, the fibers, they release really interesting chemicals that help support, help strengthen, help nourish, help energize the cells of the intestine. And this is a very important strategy for anybody dealing with leaky gut syndrome, which is pretty much everybody who's got some kind of long-term uh, degenerative health challenge. Of course, fiber, uh, the, these short-chain fatty acids, as, as they're called, that uh, help support digestive health, also important for brain health. So they'll help her with depression. And Pam, do not underestimate, or Philomena as well, do not underestimate the link, uh, the importance of the link between digestive health and mental health. The nervous system is, there's two basic nervous systems in the body. You have a digestive nervous system and you have a central nervous system and they are, interact with each other. The brain and the digestive system are constantly talking to each other and more and more, not only are we finding out that the brain and the digestive system are talking to each other, but the brain and the bacteria that live in the digestive system are constantly talking to each other and there's a major relationship between food cravings, addictive behaviors, and mental uh, health issues, including depression, schizophrenia, autism, and those gut bacteria. So making sure that you're keeping the intestine healthy and uh, a healthy environment for uh, the probiotics, the good bacteria that live there is a major, major important strategy that I'd be paying attention to for dirty blood, for leaky gut syndrome, as well as for mental health. So I hope that helps Philomena and I hope that helps Pam. And thank you for the kind words. And I appreciate uh, appreciate that you're finding some, some good health information here on the Bright Side. Thanks, Pam. Have a beautiful day, man. We'll talk to you again. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I am Pharmacist Ben. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and get that retinol 5% gel, especially if you've got acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation. Also, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're interested in checking out the Longevity products, call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.